Everything we worked for, everything we had um, was burnt. Rene Latosa is determined. His next home on this lot in Santa Rosa will survive the next disaster and the one after that. This is a fire zone, obviously. Instead of rebuilding what he had, a traditional wood-framed house on a concrete foundation, the Fountain Grove resident was intrigued when he learned of another building method, billed as virtually indestructible. I really, really thought that concrete was the way to go. It's called ICF, or insulated concrete forms, a type of construction found in typhoon and earthquake-prone areas like Guam. So this gets filled with concrete. Builder Nicholas Nikiforek is constructing an ICF home in St. Helena. Hollow blocks of fire-resistant foam fitted with rebar are stacked, then filled with reinforced concrete and covered with siding. It's going to last forever, earthquake-proof, tornado-proof, hurricane-proof, uh, tsunami-proof, it's uh, mudslide-proof, every sustainable disaster. Including, he says, wildfires, like the ones that tore through wine country. Nikiforek's own ICF home is featured in this magazine article. The headline, built for a thousand years. You're not going to get a thousand year house. These teeth are going to go in together. Dana Buntrock is a professor of architecture at UC Berkeley and teaches about ICF and other materials. She says like any building material, ICF quality can vary by brand. But generally speaking, says a house is only as strong as its weakest component. Doors, windows and roofs could be vulnerable in a major fire. Or, like what happened in the firestorm, sparks could get in through a vent or window. If you've got a gap where fire can get in and your finishes are flammable inside, and they probably are, they're probably things like carpet and you have curtains and you have wood furniture and stuff like that, that stuff's still flammable. The home on this property was built of ICF and it had fire sprinklers, but like everything else on the block, it was destroyed when the tub's fire roared through last October. And while only the walls of that house were made of ICF, Nikiforek's building also has an ICF roof and concrete floors, and he's planning a surrounding concrete barrier fence, tempered glass windows, and with retractable shutters, all of which, he says, will enable it to withstand a firestorm. And it's an evolution. It's, you know, it's like the horse and buggy to the combustion engine. It's the combustion engine to the electric car. This is the new technology. But like a car, upgrades cost money. Though ICF builders say improved energy efficiency could offset some of the costs. Still, Buntrock says, there's no guarantee any home will survive an inferno intact. Rene Latosa just hopes he never has to find out. As long as it lasts my lifetime and, and my kids' lifetime, you know, a uh, thousand years probably doesn't really matter. In Sonoma County, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.